Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolfie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to level up your pets really quickly. Um, and this will help with the new Mega Neons update, so you can get Neons and Mega Neons really quickly. So, first to start, what you're going to want to do is have a tiny house. And you don't need a tiny house, I get, I guess, but it's just going to make it a little bit easier. And as you guys can see, I already have a pet leveling tiny house. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to get another one. Um, oh, that's actually kind of pretty color. I like that color. And then <laughs> you're going to go inside, obviously, because you need to go inside to do anything. So, so, so all of this. Why did I not, don't not sell? Why can I not sell this box? There we go. Okay, and just to save a little mo a bit of money, you can keep the shower and the crib because it, uh, it just saves a little bit of money, I guess. Okay, I can't take you to school right now. Hold on. Just gonna wanna delete everything except for the shower and the crib that's already in here. And, wait a minute. Why is that still there? Okay. So then you're gonna wanna go back in the main room and put a barrier in between the middle of these windows. It doesn't matter if you use a normal barrier or a glass barrier or even a rope barrier. I use the glass barrier for a w so it's still a wall, but it's a little bit cheaper. It just even though it's just one dollar, it still saves money. So you have like two little rooms here. So now you have four rooms, and then obviously you're gonna need stuff that you can use for your pets to grow up and that the only things you need in here is a pet bed a bathtub and uh, food and water rolls or a feeder I use the feeder because it saves a little bit of money and I know like it's $99 and these ones right here are only 80 but if you have to buy both of these, it's $160 for the food and the water together. But for this one, it's only $99 and you get the f and you can use the food and the water. So I just used that. And you're going to want to put that. What the heck? Why is all this so expensive? Oh, well. Okay. So you're going to want to put that in each of these little rooms and get some friends or alt accounts online. And let me quickly just get my alt account online and show you guys what I'm talking about. Because you need, well, I guess you don't need alt accounts online. You can do it by yourself as long as you want. But it just makes it faster and easier if you have alt accounts or friends online that can help you. So if if you want you can just create a new account you can uh, contact some friends see if they want to come online and help you level up your pets um but they don't have to and well I'm getting my alt account online just telling you guys that it's a lot easier if you have the premium plots game pass so you can put your house like right here or somewhere around the island so you're closer to the water park and campsite that's back there and the hospital and the school but it's not necessary and also another game pass that makes it a little bit easier is the VIP game pass and the reason why is because if you're out and about in the world of Adopt Me with your pet and it gets hungry or thirsty what you can do is you can come into the VIP lounge and get some food and drink here for completely free you can just take it it says I know it says buy but my money's not going down at all you're literally just taking it completely for free and you can just 
take this around the map with you so like if you're out and about you can get this food and feed your pet whenever it gets hungry and another thing you can do if you want in your house is you can add a piano like if you want in one of these rooms you can put the bathtub on the wall because it still really does work like this so you can still give it a bath and then you can put the piano right here or you can put the piano here and put the food and drink on top of the piano or whatever like it really doesn't matter and you don't need the piano but basically what it does is if your pet wants to go to the park you can just put it at the piano and it won't need to go to the park. It'll basically um, have fun while it's playing the piano and you won't need to go to the park. And Roblox isn't loading on my phone, so I'm, I've been trying to get my alt account online. Let me try this really quickly again so I can still show you guys. Or maybe I'll ask my sister if she can come online, maybe. Another thing is, if I'm sure all of you guys probably know this, if you go to the school, if you go into the school and turn right into this room right here, it's a pet room and it has uh, food and water and beds. So basically, most of the stuff that you have in your little house that I just told you about except a shower and a piano but it's okay so you can complete get all this stuff completely for free so all you really need in your house is a shower and piano i guess but it's just easier it's a it makes it a whole lot easier if you have it in your house because it's all right there you have all of it whenever you need it and you can just go in your house and get it every time so sorry for bad explaining things I'm probably forgetting stuff and another thing there's a lot of things that you can do to level up your pet faster is Okay, so phone's finally working now. So I'm gonna head to the campsite. Honestly, I completely forget what I was saying, but what you can, another thing you can do is you can go to the hospital and go all the way to the back room on the left side and get healing apples and bring those around with you and keep them in your inventory so even when you're out and about or at your house, you can feed them to your pet and they will heal. And with an alt account... I can give them one of the pets I'm trying to level up, like this one, and then they're going to take out the pet, their wolf right there, and we need to join the same family, invite to family. So now that uh, we're in the same family, you need to pick up both of the pets, your pet and their pet, and you need to make them go into a different map or whatever so if you're on the main map like on the adoption island they need to go into like the nursery or something so you're never in the same map or if you're in your house they need to be in a built in another building or on the main map 
or in the neighborhood or somewhere that you're not going to be because if you're on the same map as them and you drop their pet, no matter how far away they are, their pet is going to go back to them and then you need to go back and find the pet and get the pet and pick it up and go back to your house or wherever you need to go. So they need to be on another map. And then the reason you had to get uh separate the barrier and use all of the, and use all of the rooms. Why can I not get up here? Okay. Is because if you go into your house if you um you uh put all of this on the other side also, you could take care of both of them at the same time. So let me see stuff pets. Put the bath on the wall. Like that. Oh, both of them are going to the pool right now. And like I said before, if you have the piano here, you basically have everything you need. Except the school, the campsite, and the pool party. So you can take care of your pet basically almost without ever leaving your house almost except like i said except for school pool party and campsites because the park you don't need to go to the park if you have the piano and you get two times the money if you're if you're working with two pets holy moly okay And like I said before, you can get the golden healing apples from the hospital. I just forgot to do that, kind of. Okay, which one of you is thirsty? Ooh. No, darn it. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. This makes it a little harder, but this one is my alt accounts wolf. So I can't actually, like, feed them a water bottle or food or anything from my hand. But they can eat from like the feeders and stuff but they can't eat or drink from your hand which kind of is annoying but there's not a whole lot you can do about it so that's another reason you should have the feeders in your house or like I've said already you can go and get get the food and water and sleep in the school i'm repeating a lot of stuff sorry if that's annoying it's just i kind of forgot what i've already said already there's a lot you can do uh to level up your pet faster but to get the golden healing apples you just go to the left all the way into the back room and you can just take a whole bunch of these healing apples And you can feed them. But, like I said before, you can't feed your old account or friend's pet. So, you're going to need to, like, interact with the doctor or put them right here. Wrong wolf. Let's click the same one on the So as you can see, the, the meter thing is going up, so they're going to heal quickly. So now that they're healed, holy moly people, my phone right now, people won't leave me alone. There. <laughs> So then you can just go back to your house. And feed them. What the heck? There, okay. So wait. No, I'm confused. Which one of you is thirsty? 
Okay. And then you need to take a shower. And then you're hungry. Okay, I figured it out. Yay. <laughs> oh, you still want me to take a shower. Oh, okay. And now you're thirsty too. Okay. It does get a little confusing if they're the same animal because it just says wolf one or wolf two and you may not know which one is wolf one or wolf two. But I've heard that if you're holding the one that's not yours, like if you're holding the one that is your old accounts or friend's pet, you can differentiate them. So if you're holding your old account or friend's pet, the one you're holding is always number one. See, like that. And if you're not holding either of them, like if they're both on the ground following you, what you can do is number one is always your pet. No, okay, so it's not wolf two. So wolf two is your pet, I guess. So I don't know. I've never tried that. So yeah, that's how you quickly level up your pet. And quickly before I end the video, I'm just gonna piano. Basically, your pods can look like this. They're little, you know, they're little kind of pod rooms things, just mirrored on the other side, and put the same stuff in here. Except you won't need the bed because you have the crib, and in here you won't need the bath because you have the shower that was already there. So, you they all should basically look like this, but you don't have to have the piano in all of them or in any of them really. So. Yeah, sorry if I did any bad explaining, if I explained it bad, or if there's any questions you have, I'll try and answer them if you put them in the comments. So yeah, that's how you quickly level up your pets in Adopt Me. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.